My big question is how many dimensions do we exist in? Because mathematically you can have as many dimensions as you want. I mean, the maths for anything up to thousands, millions of dimensions we can work with. But when it comes to reality, unfortunately, we're now in the hands of the physicists. It's up for them to work out how many dimensions our universe is actually in. How did the universe begin? Now, there are two ways of looking at this. Cosmologists look into space, the cosmic microwave background that's kind of echo from the Big Bang. But we can also try and find out how the universe began by probing the very hot, dense conditions that you find in particle accelerators by smashing together protons of incredibly high energies and seeing what comes out. So that's my approach to finding out how the universe began. My big question is whether the Large Hadron Collider is going to be able to tell us about physics beyond the standard model of particle physics. The, the standard model is what we know so far about physics. It seems to do incredibly well telling us how uh, the, the world around us operates at its most fundamental level. For, for me, the big question is whether we are alone in the universe uh, and whether that's intelligent life or just life in general. Um, and it is a little bit eerie, really, when you go looking out across the universe, across you know, hundreds of millions of light years of space, because so far, in every, every direction in which you look, there is only us, uh, and we look to be the only island of life, intelligent or otherwise, anywhere. One of the really big questions that I think chemists can contribute to is really the origin of life. I mean, how did it happen that these incredible chemical systems come to be assembled? The big question for me remains, is there life anywhere else in the universe beyond the planet Earth? I mean, I think statistically, uh, it just seems that, you know, we, our galaxy alone, uh, when, when you look at the number of stars in our galaxy and therefore, uh, and, and then the number of planets as those are being mapped out, uh, I, I hope that there is some form of life. My big question is a very important one, one that people have pondered for years and years and years, one that is literally going to just recast human civilization in the future and it's and it's this wait for it when are we going to be able to build a hoverboard important right <laughs>